everyone. Let's go to New York. Forgot I ordered this and look what was waiting on me. <laughs> as soon as I opened the door, it was just sitting there staring at me with those pouty eyes. It's gonna be a great little to the airport treat. Going to New York, I'll tell you why. Soon enough, you'll find out. And here we are. Room tour, bam, window, and room. <laughs> it's New York. Rooms are small. A lot of, lot of vertical space, not a lot of horizontal. So, yeah, they keep them tight. Maxwell's right across the hall, though. So that's kind of cool. We literally have our doors open. We just got in. It is now 11.02 p.m. We haven't really had anything to eat today, so we might go get something to eat and then go to bed. Call it a day. Start our day tomorrow. Start our week of tomorrow. Uh, long week ahead of us. So, that's the room. This is the vlog. We're here in New York. Let's go get some grub. Hey guys, you're on a swinging lamp right now. We just got done eating for dinner. We went to a pub because not many things were open. The time is... I'll wait. The time is 12.20 a.m. I had myself a nice breakfast sandwich at a pub. I take a shower, call it a night. I have a meeting at 10 a.m. Gonna unwind here. If you guys don't mind, kind of get the place situated, situated for the, for the week. Need a blackout. Need. That should be good. I'll figure out what I'm watching. Actually, this room is so small and cute. Damn, you're smacking the face. Check it on. Do you get that reference? Come on. Check it on. What's in my bag? You shouldn't feel forced. Our love's too real to fake. It's so funny, like traveling domestically, meaning not out of the country. I don't know. I have like little things that I'm that I kind of like second guess. For example, the outlets. For example, are different when I go to Paris as opposed to in the U.S. The outlets are different. So I was like, oh, I hope this works. We're in the U.S. Wow, that's a good little spot for you guys. Counter is set up. Kinda. We are better for billions of people living that we talk and meet. When any other day were random faces. Once I get started with something, I have to finish it. Like for example, I just laid out one pair of shoes and I was like, oh, what am I getting myself into? Like I know I'm gonna finish this, so that's what I did. So I'm like fully setting up the room right now. Yeah, now I'm like fully doing the room. I'm just gonna hop in the shower, do my nighttime skincare routine, go to bed, wake up, run. You guys might get to come on the run with me, I don't know. We have a lot of days here as well, so I'm definitely gonna be going, and, and I told myself I'm gonna be good at like working out this trip. We'll see how that goes. But I brought a lot of gym clothes. Discipline over motivation. So before I plug you guys in, you guys can watch me do my skincare, but I'm gonna shower. I can't watch me do that. Done, okay, we just got done showering. Typically with my nighttime skincare routine, I don't know if this is lazy from me, and it very well could be. I don't really change up my skincare routine based on the like day and night. Like, I kind of do the same thing other than like sunscreen. Like I'm not going to bed with sunscreen on. But other than that, I do my like concentrate, toner, cleanser, moisturizer, not in that order, but just like those, like my standard lineup, because I'm looking at them right now, and I'm like, yeah, I just do those. But because I think I'm a little low on product right now, I'm kind of just like cleansing in the shower and then moisturizing right now. And I think that's like all I need to be fair. A little deodorant before bed. Shadow salt and stone, black rose and quid. Oh, that's not quid, and oud, O-U-D. I don't know what that is, but love this stuff, it's great. Smell lovely going to bed, going to bed a little. Did somebody say slay? Oh, that one got in my eye. If you're curious, right now my scent for this New York trip, got this cute little travel pack. Just pull that right out. Baccarat Rouge 540. It's a very good scent, very classy scent. And it just doesn't disappoint. When I'm in LA, I usually wear like Le Labo, but those are like big, bigger bottles. Le Labo, like Santal 33 and like 26, I believe is the numbers. And then like sometimes Armani Code, I love. Polo has some good ones, Dior has some good ones. Then this little guy, they taught me this in Mexico. I went to the spa there on my last day. They could set me up with a nice little spa treatment. And they're like complimentary, just give you one of these. Do a little rubby dub dub right here. A little rubby dub dub. 
little rubby dub dub and a final rub right there. And they said to do it on the bottom of your feet, but like, I'm not doing that. Like, what? And then I don't know if you're supposed to rub it in, it just feels right. I just don't want like oil just sitting on my skin like that. So, but now I just feel like lavender, and I swear, like, when I go to bed, I'm just, just not. I love lavender. It smells great. And then to wrap up this whole, come off before. On the lips, I do some of my nostrils, I can't lie, because my nose gets kind of dry. Prior to like skincare, I have like relatively like dry skin, I'd say. So, like, look at my skin now. I'm all moistured up. They say, or well, I've heard this before, I don't know if someone just made this up. The uglier you go to bed, the prettier you wake up. <laughs> so, that's why I look like a snail with a bunch of slime on my face. I brush my teeth, and then put my retainer in, and then your boy's hitting the hay. Expectation for this trip. So September 8th, this Friday, I have the EFI's casting call, and I'm really excited for that. They just put out the teasers today on the EFI's site and on my site, or my Instagram. And I'm really excited, because I'm curious to see who's gonna turn up. It, it's gonna be interesting. It's like, I'm very excited for this idea, because it's a really cool idea. Internally, we've just been talking about like doing something cool, kind of like bringing everyone, as in like the supporters, the fans, and letting you guys have a chance at like modeling for the brand, meeting me, can't wait to meet you guys. Like, I, I think it'll be fun. And like, obviously like this vlog, like that'll be later in the video, so I'm excited. And then other than that, that's actually like the main reason why I'm here. Our like offices, the EFI's office and like manufacturer are here in New York. And so doing like a, we're doing the activation. We're doing like a dinner with some like editors, doing a couple like press runs here in New York. And then yeah, busy, busy. It's mainly, I'm mainly here for EFI's, but it also happens to be fashion week. So we, as my team does kind of just like actively reach out to brands and be like, he's going to be around even though it's women's wear. Do you guys have any events? And they're like, oh, We'd love Noah to come to our event. So it's like really cool when it all works out, you know? So I'm going to a few like dinners, like intimate things. And then I think I'm going to a Jets game, a New York Jets game, which is football at the end of the week. So with Tommy Hilfiger. So that'll be fun. <laughs> that angle probably looks nuts. Hello? Your boy's ready for bed. Just absolutely cocooning that thing over there. Absolutely. God, in my retainer. I'm still getting used to this one. This one's still like, this is a new retainer, so. Shut up. Oh, hey. This lighting's kind of fire. I'm gonna put my Efi's underwear on, and you guys are gonna look away for a sec. Just like that, they're on. Good night. Love you guys. Day one down in the book. Technically, day one. I don't know. See you tomorrow. Morning. Good morning guys. The meeting in the morning that I was telling you guys about got pushed back. So had ourselves a little extra 30 minutes of free time. So we're driving to where we were supposed to be next, which is the we're going to the Montclair gifting suite. And we're gonna go sit at a team, shake some hands, kiss some kiss some Wait, what's that? What's that? <laughs> kiss the ring. Yeah. And then Vinny flew in this morning, got in at like 6 a.m. He's on Do Not Disturb right now, so we're just gonna keep went to bed, smart man. So he can rally with us after the suite, and then after that, we have a few other things on the schedule for today, and keep you posted. Yup. Yeah. He's so smooth. came back from the gifting suite. Quick little shout out to Montclair. Spoiled the boy, absolutely sick. Your classic like quarter zip sweater, skiing the Alps type vibes, you know? I've never even skied before. Um, knitted pastel purple like puffer, crazy. And then this is like a nylon like windbreaker, which is just sick. And then that view, load, bam. Also Montclair. Did they start? Where are they? Hello? Chenzo's here. We made it. Yeah. We made it. Just ate 
eight, Vinny is gonna go shoot with, long story, he's shooting with someone. I might take myself for a little run to Central Park right now. A little there and back run. Yeah, let's do that. Hands are off. Okay, due to the fact that I don't really wanna hold you guys while I run, you know, like, you, I bet you can understand that. Like, I'm not trying to run with a camera. You know, I already gonna have to like run with my phone because I don't have uh, like an arm sleeve or anything for my phone. So I'm not gonna bring you guys on this run. Maybe in the future. That being said, I'm gonna go on a little run here. I have an hour to kill and then I have a call and then we gotta do some shopping because I have an event that I have to like find an outfit for because if you show up to Fashion Week, brands then are like, oh my God, they can see like your Instagram stories and then be like, oh my God, you're in town. They'll hit up Maxwell. They'll be like, does no one want to come to this, this, this? And that's happening today. So you kind of have to plan for it because that's typically how it goes due to prior experiences. So I have the Ethie's editor cocktail hour tonight to, so the editors of like cool magazines can come and check out the brand. And then we have YSL Beauty Fragrance, myself, what it's called, going to that tonight. So that'll be fun. So I got to go find it. They're giving me a budget to go pick out a look for that tonight. So that'll be fun. Got to go. See you when I come back. Post run, your boy got after it. I did. I ran to Central Park and back, so it was like 3.3 miles, 27 minutes. I kept stopping, and you have to like, it's New York, so you have to like weave in and out of traffic, quite literally traffic and people, but there's also like a ton of stoplights, so I tried, I don't know, for some reason I felt good today. I was just running, Listen to my reggaeton. Ever since Mexico, I'm like so set on touching up on my Spanish, like I'm trying to get fluent, like that'd be sick, and I just love the music, like it's just like, I love it, but I got a shower because I got a call soon. Calls. Just got done with our my calls. Went over a few things, chatted. Now we're gonna go shopping for my look tonight uh, to wear to the Ethie's event and the YSL fragrance. So that's what we're gonna do right now. There's a few stores nearby, but I think I'm gonna go to Ami because Ami's just the uh, whole reliable for me. Sun starts peeking through my window, almost blinded. Means the minutes I can hold you start to take away. Why can't we just stay here? With all the mirrors too, I've got you like like from every angle. It's trippy. No, I'm like I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Wow. All right, guys. Operation Get No One Outfit for tonight's event. Easy. Ticked off the ticked off the checklist. Went to Ami. Found a look within five minutes. Tried it on. Then came to Saint Laurent for a boot because I'm a I'm a whore for a Saint Laurent boot. Like an absolute slut. It's crazy. I love Saint Laurent boots. They're so nice. Shopping. Heading back to the hotel, I'm gonna get a coffee before we head back out to like an event. Oh, shit, sorry, because I am tired. I kind of have to like hurry and get ready. So we got boots from Saint Laurent. Love Saint Laurent. And then the full look from August. This is when I change. All right, guys. Fitz, voice of the town. <laughs> Ami, Ami, David Yearman. Uh, this is like from Ross when I was like 13. This bell has gone, like, tr is a world traveler. Ami. Saint Laurent. So pretty and elegant. It's like think of a world in which it's pretty crazy. It's kinda of like surreal seeing like that issue come to life. It's like Team Bow's story and my story are the same story all the time. Good morning everyone, 9.08 a.m. I have a facial at 9.30 with Tatcha. I'm really excited for that. Last night was like un like unnecessarily like a late night. We had my amazing Efi's intimate cocktail hour, which was it was great. Thank you for everyone that came for watching this, I guess. Great conversations, cute little vibe, you know, it was a nice little breath of nice little breath of fresh air from like the rest of fashion week i feel like it was very low maintenance and then um after that went to the ysl beauty myself fragrance event just fun uh little yachty performed so that was cool went to korean barbecue because we were like i'm hungry let's go eat we went and we were like what's open and then Vinny found he was like there's this korean barbecue spot has 4.5 star reviews 
You wanna know why they had 4.5 star reviews and like 8,000 reviews on Yelp? The reason they got so many reviews is the lady taking her order, she was like, anything to drink? And I was like, I'll take a Diet Coke. It was like midnight at the time and I was like, I'm probably gonna go see some friends after this, just stop by, just cause, why not? So I was like, a Diet Coke, I need a little, I need a little something to get me going, right? Feel a little crazy. And she was like, yeah, of course, she was like, Free drinks if you if you rate us five stars on, on Yelp and give us a good review. Me, Vinny, and Maxwell look at each other like, mm. cause that was the most reviews like we've ever seen. And I was like, honestly, kind of smart. <laughs> you, oh, thank you. And then after that, went to a nice little, a little after hour chill bar, like called Holiday Bar. It was really fun. Met up with some friends there. So I got back to here at like two. Here we are going to get a facial, and then after the facial, we have a bit of a bit of a day today. So you guys are coming along. Why should I try to leave it right now? Big apple, I want to bite it. I can hear your body telling me to stay. Right next to you. Next to me. Hey. Hey, Dad. Thanks for picking me up at school. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So hard, hard enough to think. Think of a world in which we just got done with a little lunch meeting. Got my facial this morning, got the Tommy fitting. Now we're going to the Ralph Lauren fitting. So, yeah, all is well. And then tonight we also have the Vogue event after that. So, busy, busy. So, uh, yeah, just finished lunch. Now going to the Ralph Lauren fitting for the, the matches tomorrow. And then I think we're chilling until the open tonight. I can lose focus in the details in the slightest haze And in the cold Easy, done with the fitting for Ralph Lauren. Now we chill until the matches tonight where I'm going with La Roche Posay. So, see you guys there. We're going to the first night of the US Open. No, no, joke, right? As in our first night, because we have <laughs> two nights. Tonight's semifinals is the women's. You guys want to hear something? US Open and wow what a time it was. I love tennis. I had a great time tonight. I kind of do this though thing when I Experience something and I like genuinely like moved by it I go through like a little phase of like whether it's like a movie, you know, it can be like a superhero movie I'm gonna be like I'm gonna train to become that you know, it's I think it's the boy in me or I think it's just like the delusional ambitious version of me I guess 
But with tennis, it's like, yes, I'm not going to devote all my time to play in the US Open. However, I like to have a good cardiovascular system, and by that meaning like I love cardio and I like to have good like stamina, you know? Anyways, I wanna mix it up. And I'm like, what else can I do for like improving my stamina and like maintaining like a just being athletic, I guess. I'm not a huge runner, I can't lie. Like I don't like just running for no purpose, you know. That's why I'll go play soccer for cardio, which is great cardio. I'll go play basketball, I'll go play pickleball, for example. That's why I picked that up. Like I play that all the time with David. Tennis is one of those where I haven't really gone into because one, to be fair, it is kind of tough to like have a court. It's definitely a lot harder. Like, have you ever hit a tennis ball? With a tennis racket, like if the, you can barely hit it, that thing flies, and so it's just like it goes to show how skilled these like these people are. Just overall fundamentals of the sport it makes you really respect it. But I'm like, they're probably getting such a good workout out up there, you know. And it seems so fun. I might be in my tennis era. You never know. This tends to happen, and I'll tell you one thing. My fingers are swollen right now. A pro and a con. A con is that sometimes I start something and then I won't finish it. For example, like I'll tell myself like. I'll go to Mexico, I'll be like, I'm gonna learn Spanish. I'm gonna grind it, I'm gonna become fluent, just like that. I'll do it solid for a couple weeks, and I'll like actually learn quite a lot of Spanish, and then I'll kind of just like become busy all of a sudden and forget it. But that being said, that's a con of like starting something and not finishing it. Spreading yourself a bit too thin, being like, okay, I need to do my Spanish day, but I also need to learn the guitar, but I also need to learn tennis. However, the pro is that it's life. Familiar with a lot of different things. That's why like, I kind of pride myself on, I feel like anything I pick up, I'll be able to be good at just because I'll like work really hard at it. You know, does that make sense? I'm like good at a lot of different things. I'm great at a couple things, and I'm still bad at a lot of things, don't get me wrong, but those bad things I'm really bad at, like you bet one day, I'm gonna get good at them, because I will go through a phase. Thank you for coming. <sighs> okay, <laughs> that's a problem. <laughs> it was good. I've seen this movie quite a lot. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's Get Hard with Will Ferrell and Kevin Hart. Freaking classic. Uh, I'm like delusionally tired, it's late. I got an early morning because we have the EP's casting call tomorrow. Tomorrow. That's tomorrow. It's crept up. I'm really excited to see who's going to come out. I'm like kind of nervous, but it'll be fun. Let's have fun. But for now, I'm going to do my skincare. going to wash my face and then hit the hay. Go to bed. So, I love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow for the EP's casting call. Very excited. I'm going to charge you guys up. Make sure you guys have a lot of battery because tomorrow's going to be a fun day. And then we have the... US open tomorrow and then just a couple meetings in between. So excited for tomorrow. Genuinely. Love you. Bye. Come here. Mm. Bye. New hair. Whoops. You guys fell, losers. You know what? I'm like bloodshot tired. Really oh there's a city. Over here. Follow me. I was going to turn on yelp. Why aren't they grunters? They're, they're not grunters. Imagine they just add.